So I thought I was going to leave this for later, and, um, you know, uh, obviously, that's not going to happen. Because it's just better to just get it done and out of the way. I can always just have the footage sit around and wait for a while. But it's time for another Teapot Chats thing. It's the last time we did it is when I had gotten Say You. And that's been a long time, and since then I've gotten eight more characters, as you can see. But the eight characters we're going to go through is going to be, well, you know, one, and then the two, and then three, and then four, five, six, seven, and then who knows, maybe we'll swap it around here. But we got eight characters, so it's time for an RT Pot Chat episode. So let's go ahead and get these going. Oh, it's you. Perhaps you have come just to see me? How do you like it here? It's much livelier here than the plane of pure silence and tranquility that I'm used to. Will it be difficult for you to get used to this place? No, not at all. Clamor and commotion are strictly external. My inner being shall remain tranquil as ever. Okay, that's good. Thank you for your concern. Um... Will you remain here a while longer? <laughs> With you by my side, though our mouths stay silent, my heart is at peace. Your companionship. This is one change that I shall not contest. That is quite nice. I actually do want to take a picture here. I should probably stand on the other side. There we go. This will do. This will do just fine. Yes, happy friends inside of a teapot. Alright. Oh, it's you. Perhaps you have come just to see me. I want to do the other it's option. It's much livelier here than the plane of... No. Clamor and commotion are strictly external. Such lively activities stand in direct contrast to the notion of eternity. I'm afraid I'll have to consider it further. Um, will you remain... <laughs> your... Oh, it's he... Perhaps you have come... Would you like to have a chat with me? Yes. I just so happen to have something that I would like to ask you. Really? What's that? I would like to know how you make such delicious desserts. Ahem. <clears throat> I mean, they certainly seem to suit my taste. The most important ingredient is patience. I see. Though your attempts may fail, you will not give up future attempts because of a temporary setback. By making adjustments along the way, you compile what you've learned and accumulate experience. Is that what you mean? Exactly. I see. I'll be sure to remember that. Now that I've benefited from your experience, I'll try to follow your instructions the next time I'm attempting optimizations on the Shogun. I have a feeling that it's not learning how to make desserts that you're after. Hmm? Haven't I already mentioned that I cannot make food? However, the advice you gave me will benefit you as well. With a more powerful Shogun, I will be able to protect you from a myriad of dangers even more effectively. Oh, it's he. Perhaps you have come. Try that again. Yes. I just so happen to have some. I would like to know. <clears throat> I mean, they certainly seemed. Oh. I would have never expected that trying to make desserts taste better was an expression of hope. But. No. The more I think about it, it can't possibly be that. Si Perhaps hope means the desire to satisfy the eater. Mm -hmm. I see. I'll be sure to remember that. Now that I've benefited from your experience, hmm? Haven't I all however? Okay, that's just the same line power... anyway. Oh, it's perhaps you have come Anything you want to do? Yes. Unsheathe your weapon. The <laughs> what you mean now? I'm not mentally prepared for this. <clears throat> Then I will come again once your preparation is complete. I have time. I will use my blade to confirm whether you are out of practice or not. Wait, are you serious? Naturally. The moment that blades are crossed in battle also becomes a kind of eternity. 
I shall use this moment to feel your inner being. A simple and direct method, yet more clear than any language could convey. It even allows me to verify my own existence. Hey, is that you? Huh? So you could see through my guise? Oh, I thought my impression was accurate enough. Huh? Never mind. I'll be honest with you then. I desire to spar with you. After all, few have ever proved capable of withstanding my blade. It would be a pleasure to train with you. However, I feared that you would be hesitant to strike me, so I used the identity of the Shogun. Well, that's an odd request. Oh, you don't refuse. May I assume you accept, then? <laughs> you should prepare yourself. I certainly won't go easy on you. Well, that oh, was interesting. it's you. Perhaps you have come. Yes. Unsheathe your weapon. Hmm. I will use my blade to naturally the moment that a simple and direct method yet more huh so you could see through none my of that is different after wow. all however I feared that you would be has oh you don't okay that line is n there's nothing different in either of the dialogue choices nothing changes there at all okay that is okay with me then Uh, what is... Well, let's talk with Eugen. Still can't put them on the stage, which is stupid. I can put them behind things, but I can't put them on things. Why? Ah, oh, you've arrived. I couldn't help but notice how busy you are these days. If you could manage to find the time to sit and enjoy an opera together, or share a pot of tea, taking a moment to slow down and enjoy the finer things in life is always beneficial to your body and soul. How do you like it here? Yes, you needn't worry. Everything here seems to be in good order. Not to mention the delightful scenery. I think I will have no issue residing in such a pleasant place. I have a habit of going to an open space every morning to rehearse my voice. It can be difficult to find a suitable place where my singing won't disturb anyone in Liyue Harbor. But here, that is not a problem at all. Shall I accompany you? <laughs> How kind. I do appreciate your courtesy. However, in my practice routine, I tend to go over my whole repertoire, both singing and reciting. I may suddenly be acting dreadfully mournful one moment, and then practicing a hysterical laugh the next. I fear such a kaleidoscope of outright emotion may scare you. I would much rather prefer to offer you a complete and fully prepared opera instead. I understand. Great. Thank you for your kind understanding. Ah, oh, you've arrived. If you could manage... Yes, you need... I have a habit of... Go it can be difficult to find a suitable place. Yes. Why, that's a fundamental part of anyone's routine in my profession. If you skip a day, only you will know. But if you skip three days, the whole audience will know. A master never forgets the fundamentals of practicing. <laughs> All right, I can see it written on your face already. That sounds exhausting. As a matter of fact, I don't feel that way at all. Quite the opposite, really. To fully deliver the elegance of Li Yue Opera to the audience, we must strive for excellence, properly performing every subtlety in the story. To be completely honest, I find great enjoyment in my hours of practice. Great. Mm. Thank you. Ah, oh, you've arrived. If you could manage... Would you like to have a chat? Yes, that would be perfect. I've been meaning to ask for your guidance on many things. You're so modest, Eugen. It's just that you've traveled extensively. You have much experience for me to draw upon. I must respect you if I wish to gain from your experience. <clears throat> to be completely honest, there are times I have considered giving up the opera and taking time to travel around faraway nations. But things are always busy in the troupe, and I've just never found the right opportunity. After traveling to so many places, I'm sure that you've learned many different customs. Would you mind sharing some with me? For example, the sword play of the knights in Mondstadt. What's that like? Does it differ from that of the martial artists we see in Liyue? 
I've also heard that the swords produced in Inazuma can cut through nearly anything. How do they forge such sharp swords? The Knights of Mondstadt are masters of Aphonia's blade work. A fighting style that flows like the wind. I wonder, are they capable of even manipulating the wind in combat? I want to hear all that you have to say. It truly is fascinating. I'll be sure to prepare some more questions for the next time we talk. Of course, I'll be sure to make our conversations worth your time as well. I will prepare an appropriate gift for you as thanks for answering my questions. Ah, you've arrived. If you could manage... Yes, that would be perfect. I've been meaning to ask for your... <laughs> Is this humor of yours also something that you've acquired throughout your travels? Then I won't beat around the bush. <clears throat> to be completely honest, they're after traveling. For example, I've also heard that the swords produced in Inazuma... Oh, that must be a very special material then. It's no wonder that the people of Inazuma are reputedly confident in their craftsmanship. I want to hear all that you have to say. It truly is fascinating. I'll be sure to prepare some more- Of course. Okay, on to the next- uh, You've arrived. If you could manage- Is there anything you'd like to do? Yes, now that you mention it. There is one thing I have been meaning to do. When I was a child, my father often told me legends of the Adepti. I remember that one legend in particular made mention of an Adeptus abode in Dreyun Karst. An Adeptus abode? Yes, that's right. The legend had it that Adepti could drift upon beams of light, ride lightning, and leap into the sky to ascend to their abode. From their lofty dwelling, they gaze to and fro, drifting over land and sea, they know not the world below. My father would have a mesmerized look on his face whenever we got to that part of the story. But though the story has been passed down all these years, no one has yet to ever see such an abode. It has always been my dream to go and see such a place one day. I would even like to perform an opera there, letting Adepti and people alike hear my voice echoing through the lands. I think I know of a place like the one you described. No, really? <clears throat> I mean, I know that your words are sincere. It's just that you answered so quickly, and I haven't even decided what opera to perform or what costume to prepare. Uh, well, I'll take you there once you've made up your mind. Thank you very much. That's most kind of you. <sighs> All right, I have some ideas. I think for the performance, I will sing a selection about you and your dealings with the Adepti. As for the costume, I was hoping you could give me some creative input. You have a deal. All right, it's settled. I'll start practicing today. Actually, why not start right away? No time like the present. I must make sure this performance turns out perfect. All right. So with that, rubber. Thing back up, open it back up. Let's see who's next. Hmm. Shinobu. I think. Do I have Shinobu at 10 anyway? It's kind of something important to see, actually. I think I have her at 10. Yeah, I do. What are you up to? <laughs> For once, I have the day off. I'm gonna make the most of it. How do you like it here? It's pretty nice. Thanks for the invite. I just did a few laps of the place. The general layout's really quite interesting. Did you study landscape design? No, I just went with my gut. Ah, so you're one of those naturally gifted types. A self-taught prodigy. This has piqued my interest, though. I wonder if I should study for a qualification in landscape design. Why not? Go for it. Wow, I like the enthusiasm. <laughs> Thanks for the support. I guess I'll give it a shot then. But could you possibly let me borrow this site before the exam for me to practice on? In return, uh, let's see. I'll cover all your roasted lavender melon costs leading up to the exam. What do you think? What if I don't buy any? What are you up to? <laughs> For one... It's pretty nice. I just did a few laps of the place. The general layout's really quite interesting. You can't skip this did one. Did you study landscape design? Ac 
Actually, no, I haven't. This has piqued my interest, though. Wow, I like... I, in return... What are you up to? <laughs> For what? Want to chat? Sure, I'm not exactly busy right now. If you've got any questions, ask away. What is it that you don't like about Shrine Maidens? I think you may have misunderstood me. I have nothing against any Shrine Maiden. It's not even that I detest the profession. Believe me, I know every job comes with its challenges. The simple fact is that being a Shrine Maiden is just not for me. The reasons are complicated. Let me think how to explain it. Is it to do with your family? <sighs> you're gonna think this sounds childish, but yes, you're right. Sometimes I just can't stand my family. I know they only wanted the best for me, but trying to achieve that by planning out every aspect of my life just made everything unbearable. They always treated me like I was a child. Felt like they had to constantly nag me to make sure I didn't slip up. <sighs> every time I received a letter of complaint saying that I wasn't warm and friendly enough, they would be on my case about it for days. I just don't like to smile, that's all. Doesn't mean I have any animosity towards anyone. That's understandable. In a nutshell, I prefer to work jobs where the metrics are clear and where I can see the actual results of my efforts. Jobs like that come naturally to me, and they give me a chance to show my family that my choices aren't worse than theirs just because they're different. But the most important thing is that I no longer have to force myself to do something I don't want to do. I can live a pretty free life. Hmm. What are you up to? <laughs> For... Sure, I'm not exactly busy right now. I think you may- I have nothing- The simple fact is that being a shrine maiden is- <sighs> Yeah, I guess it must be. Look, a lot of people just want a fortune slip hoping to get a bit of good luck. And they don't really care what's written on the slip. But then, there are those who, for all sorts of reasons, end up in dire straits and turn to prayer as their last resort. They desperately want some divine power to make all of their problems go away. It doesn't sit right with me. I can't bring myself to say things will get better to people like that. It's just a cop-out. <sighs> In a nutshell, I prefer jobs like that, but the most important- Venti, stop moving over there. What are Be you up still. to? <laughs> For what do you want to do? Actually, there's something I'd like your help with, and it has to be you. I'm working on a migrant housing scheme. I know the different policies for migrant workers purchasing real estate in the different nations, but I don't know much about the local cultures. What kind of things do people living in different areas need to be aware of? What are the local gangs? Who are the local power players? You've been to a lot of places. Could you give me some pointers? Uh, hold on, are we... Are you planning the Arataki Gang's escape? What? No. This has nothing to do with the Arataki Gang. I'm just helping a client with their migration prospectus. And I'm gonna take the opportunity to go traveling for a few days. I'm working on something else for the other guys. The Arataki Gang's Comprehensive Guide to Surviving and Thriving. It's progressing nicely. You know what those numbskulls are like. They aren't mean-spirited, but they do cause no end of trouble. I can't be around them all the time. In the long term, something's gotta change. You're not gonna leave the gang, are you? Of course not. At least not for now. As the de facto manager, I still can't say I've turned the gang into something I'm proud of. And I'm not gonna quit halfway. Who knows what the future holds, though. If it really gets to the point where we end up parting ways... Well, sometimes that's just how life goes. Everyone who's trying to make their life work deserves to be happy regardless of what direction they've chosen. Same goes for the Arataki gang and I as for you and me. No matter where the future takes us, whether we stay together or part ways, we'll always have each other's support, won't we? Hmm. What are you up to? <laughs> for what? Actually, there- I'm working on a mic- I know the different- What kind of things do- You've been to a lot of places. What? No, I'm just helping a- I'm working on some- You know what those numbskull- I can't be around them all the time. If you say so, I'll hold you to it. Oral agreements are just as binding as written agreements, you know. So, if I do end up leaving the Arataki gang and come looking to you for protection, you can't say no, okay? Uh, Tubby can be my witness. <laughs> it's funny that someone actually talks about Tubby. Tubby kind of just sits outside. Almost alone if I didn't give Tubby a new friend every month and a half. Huh. 
but for better or for worse, it's probably not gonna happen. I don't like to rely on anyone. It doesn't suit my personality. Everyone who's trying to make their life work, the same goes for the- Like, honestly, we really do feel bad for Tubby to ever be alone, so that's why I gotta put someone with Tubby. Alright, let's see. Who is next? Mm, I guess Toma. Oh, hey, you're back. So, how goes the journey? Give me all the details. Are you sitting in okay, or sitting in? Settling in okay? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be fine. Believe me, I can feel at home almost anywhere. By the way, I really like what you've done with the place, especially that funny little bird at the entrance. That's Tubby, a teapot spirit. Gotcha. Tubby the teapot spirit. Wait, what? I've heard my share of stories, everything from fox envoys to Baka Danuki to Tengu warriors. But a teapot spirit? That's a new one. Hmm, interesting. So that teapot yokai, I, I mean spirit, teapot spirit, did you catch it yourself? It's a long story. Rest assured, Tubby is no yokai. Not a yokai? So, just out of curiosity, this Tubby doesn't happen to be some sort of god or anything, does it? That would spell the end for me. I, uh, couldn't help but pat it on the head when I came in. Wow. Oh, hey. So, how good? <laughs> By the way, I really like what you've done with the pl Gotcha. Tubby the butler bird. Wait, what? You're saying you've got a bird that's smart enough to be a butler? It's not some kind of yokai or anything, is it? <sighs> you never cease to impress me. I mean, taming yokai? Who knew you had that kind of talent? Not a yokai? That would spell... The only times I heard anything okay. about yokai was so, in Neo. How goes the and I never beat it. Anyway. Sure. The atmosphere here is really relaxed. Ah, it's perfect for chatting the day away. By the way, I've been hoping to show you around the Grand Narukami Shrine when we get the chance. The sacred sakura at the shrine is in bloom year-round. Seeing the falling blossoms dance in the wind is quite a sight to behold. Definitely a surefire way to make you fall in love with Inazuma. I've seen them before. <laughs> Great. And speaking of the Grand Narukami Shrine, one word of advice. Don't ever attack any of the Kitsune nearby. Not that you'd ever dream of doing something like that, would you? Of course not. I always respect the wildlife. Oh, that's good. I always knew that you were a kind-hearted person. I know an old lady who loves telling stories about the unnatural. She told me that someone was once sentenced to judgment by lightning after attacking one of the Kitsune near the shrine. Kitsune Oof. are highly favored by the Grand Narukami, so I guess the offender only got what was coming to them. Regardless, you should probably try not to provoke any animals you encounter, regardless of the species. All plants and creatures equally deserve our respect. Oh, hey! So, how good? Sure. By the way, the sacred sakura at the shrine is in bloom year round. <laughs> Great. And speaking of the grand art, not that you'd ever dream of doing something like that, would you? Uh huh. You're not seriously considering it, are you? Uh, trust me, don't let curiosity get the best of you. Attacking a kitsune is bad luck. I know an old lady who loves telling stories about kitsune are regardless. All plants and... I mean, why would we attack one? There's no okay. reason to. So, how... Unless I need to do the self-defense. Actually, I was hoping to find a nice open area and invite you to do some sky gazing together. Something about the sky here seems clearer than anywhere else. It makes me feel peaceful inside. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> sunset in Inazuma is impressive too, but somehow it feels a little more somber than what you have here. Well, we aren't inside an Adeptus teapot after all. Huh, you're right, which is already pretty astonishing. To think that the two of us, along with the whole expanse of sky, can be packed inside a tiny little teapot. <sighs> Even if this crystal blue sky is just a teapot's illusion, a moment of pure tranquility is a great thing all the same. <laughs> I guess I always try to see the positive side of things. I appreciate that about you, Toma. <laughs> Thanks for that. 
On a more serious note, though you may not want to show it, I can see the tiring toll of your journey in your eyes sometimes. Since we're already here, why not try to leave your worries behind and put your mind at ease for a while? And if you ever feel lonely, don't worry. You've always got me here to keep you company. Ooh, damn, they just try to get serious okay. in that. So, how... Actually, I something about this... Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Sunset in Inazuma is impressive. Really? You do? It's great that you know how I feel. <sighs> Even if this crystal... <laughs> I guess I always try to see the pos... <laughs> On a more serious... Since we're already... And if you ever... Alright, that was good... Oh, damn it, that's the map. That was good talking with Toma. I actually really liked that one because he was... Actually mentioning how the traveler can be... Tired from the whole journey they've been going on. Alright. I go. Hello. What? <laughs> I don't know why. It's just, just the way he says hello and how that's just it. Good timing. I have a job that needs doing, and you are the only one who can do it. <laughs> just wanted to see how you'd react. Are you settling in okay? Most definitely. I have seen furnishings like these plenty of times before, though I don't believe I've seen them arranged in this particular fashion. The layout is clearly inspired and thoroughly distinctive. Simply marvelous. In fact, I'm inclined to have the Yashiro Commission headquarters remodeled in this style. Would you object to overseeing the project and making sure everything is to the uh, right specifications? I feel like you're probably joking. <laughs> Ah, uh, what gave it away? Uh, my acting skills appear to have deteriorated. In any case, this place is refreshingly different. You may find me visiting you here quite often. Hello. Good timing. <laughs> Hello. This <laughs> is... It's funny. Most def... I have seen furnished... The layout is... In fact, would you object to overseeing the project? <laughs> Why the pained expression? Well, if it's really that much trouble, I won't force it. In any case, this... You may find me... Hello. Good timing. <laughs> Would you like to have a chat? If you wish to chat, then by all means, let's chat. What's on your mind? How's work in the Yasho Commission? I had thought you'd be inquiring about more personal matters. <laughs> you don't need to worry about me being overworked. Case in point, I still have the energy to chat with you here. But don't you find that work draining? People tend to find work draining if they haven't yet discovered what they are trying to protect. I, at least, don't have this problem. Well, hats off to you. I am flattered beyond belief to receive your praise and concern for my well-being. But you needn't worry. At present, there is no one more suitable than I to be in the position of Yashiro Commissioner. Hello. Good timing. <laughs> If you wish to chat, then by all means, let's chat. Life? Once work is accounted for, precious little time remains to allocate to my personal life. If this is something that concerns you, I see a simple solution. You can be my valet. My diet and other day-to-day -day needs will be your responsibility. Oh, oh. Uh, As far as diet is concerned, I'm not a picky eater. And as for everything else... Hmm... No, actually I don't think I have any peculiar habits that you need to be aware of. Though if you ever discover anything that tastes new and different, bring some back for me too. For example, new kinds of milk tea? Precisely. I'm looking forward to it already. Uh, oh, you're actually being serious this time. Indeed, I am. It's entirely up to you. Take your time and give it some thought. Consider it an ongoing discussion. Oh. Hello. Good timing. <laughs> Anything you want? Have you ever taken a dog for a walk? Taken a dog for a walk? Yes. Where you stroll together with a canine companion, dogs are instinctually loyal. But no matter how well behaved a dog might be, it gets unhappy if it's cooped up in the same place for too long. Bringing it outdoors and watching it run free and enjoy itself is a splendid way to relax. It puts you in a good mood. Don't you want to try? I 
I'm a little nervous. Don't worry. My staff will be. All right. Uh, it seems I still need to get this dialogue in here. So we're not done yet. I guess I can give it a try. All right then. If you have any reservations starting out, we can treat this as a practice area. See, I'm just trying to count something here. Just, I just want to. Oh, is it really only four people that I need for each episode? Because I was able to do A, Yujin, Toma, and uh, Shinobu, and then the clip tried to end. I could do five people. It would just make the video just a little bit past 30 minutes, which is fine. Once you've reached the point so. where you're able to enjoy it, we can head out onto the streets, drinking some milk tea and walking the dogs. I wouldn't be surprised if it causes some commotion. What the hell made me think I needed eight people if only five, if hardly getting to five people is for 30 minutes? <laughs> Not that I mind, of course. Hello. Good timing. <laughs> so it's really only five people that I need. All right. Have you ever get taken my head a dog the game, for a walk? Then. Yes. Dogs are in bringing it outdoor. Don't you want to try? Sure. <laughs> Raring to go, I see. All right, then. If you have any reservations starting out, we can treat this as a practice area. Once you've reached the point where you're able to enjoy drinking some milk. <laughs> okay, so with that, um, that was five characters there, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I do have characters, but... Are all of their lines even actually here, even though they're not at, um, you know, they're not at the max? I don't know if being up to, like, past four is good or not. Like, I think four was... I want to have the max out. So, for now, I think... Well, let me try something. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm. I guess I'm not gonna do another teapot chat thing because Candace here is a level six and she only has three dialogue options. I mean two, not counting the good night. So, you know, I thought I had it, but I think I really do need to get them at level ten. So that means, because the only characters I have at level ten are Goro, Yewon, and uh, Hazo. But I need two more characters at level 10 to do that. So that means it would be them. Huh? Once they're done, I need to unlock three more characters and get them to six, and then we're ready again. Because it's five characters per part is what we're actually able to do. So, yeah, okay. I, I think I got it. I got it put together.